One more play, guys. Hold them. Come on, defense. David Hunter and Treva White have been cheering in the stands. Oh, yes. Cyrus Hunter, number 17. Since their son started playing football at age seven. And I just try, you know, not to worry about it, but um, it's definitely deep seated in the back of the mind as a mom. I mean, it is. Woo! And what's been in the back of her mind went from a worry to reality three weeks ago. Our son's never, never been hurt. So, I mean, for him to kind of jog off or limp off the field, it, it was a thought went through and make sure he was okay. Way to go, Cyrus! It turned out to be a hyperextended knee. And tonight, he's back in the game, something his dad always sees as a gamble. It is a violent sport. Two, three. Hits to the head are the focus at Athlete Intelligence. Inside the Kirkland lab, they displayed the technology they're using to help young athletes, like this mouth guard. We know the bony structures of the skull, and we can actually map that out. Mapping out and measuring how hard a player is hit, then in real time, sending that data out so a coach could see it on their cell phone. And with that information armed and empowered with that, you can do your utmost to keep those players safe. Jesse Harper, the company's president, says it's personal. In his college days at UConn, he was a wide receiver. And over the years, he watched both of his sons play the sport. If we can save one kid from a concussion, one child from, um, you know, a secondary impact syndrome and, and potentially death, we've done our job. Back on this field, yes! anything that helps their son stay healthy. Yeah, actually, that's I awesome. That's, that's great. Go. Is a welcome addition to the game. The company says more than 10,000 athletes are using the technology. They've already been able to put it in one local high school, and more schools are showing interest. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.